is requesting the National Guard to help keep order in the city coming tonight. We have been on the air since early this afternoon. Christina Gonzalez has been covering the story all day for us. She begins our team coverage live in the Fairfax district. Christina. Yes, we are. We're just down the street from where you saw Bill and this area here. They're taking this curfew very literally, but this started much earlier. As you said, take a look at what happened. L.A. County Sheriff used non-lethal weapons to move back protesters on Beverly. They are moving in to back up LAPD forces overrun by part of the crowd that targeted some of their units, burning them down. The march began early in the afternoon. Thousands of people making their way across the grove, many with kids. Uh, yeah, that was one of our conversations also, is that if stuff started to get rowdy at all, then that's when we leave. He echoed a large majority of peaceful participants. Then the tagging started. Marchers stopped for speeches at Fairfax, blocking traffic. Things quickly escalated from fist bumps with cops to smoke bombs, and then fire bombs. Even if they wanted no part of it, many expected this. They saw stores looted at the Grove, kiosks on fire. We live in America. We live in a capitalist society that I do support and agree with. But the only thing that really matters is green. And people got upset when buildings started burning, property started being destroyed. When their pockets get affected, that's when action happens. And I just, as much as it's awful and I wish it didn't have to be the case, I think especially in this time, Money is what talks, and until people's money is affected, they don't care for real. If I can get a $5,000 handbag and go resell it to, to feed my family, absolutely I'm here for it. Absolutely I'm here for it. I'm not looting personally. As you see, I'm out here peaceful protesting, but I support my brothers and sisters that are. Of course, in the middle of all this, you got to ask people about what happened last night downtown Los Angeles and the damage there. Yeah, so this is like the outcry of the people. Now, do I agree with everything? No, but like something has to happen. Listen to a store owner whose place was looted in downtown L.A. Listen, I'm not worrying about my small shop in Los Angeles. I don't care. I care about I have a black son. This is trash. I care about a life. Back at Beverly, even as law enforcement pushed the crowd east, a long caravan of vehicles driven by more protesters headed west right into the thick of it. So we need to come out here and make a scene and we need to be heard at whatever cost. I understand everyone being angry, but at the same point, it's just like every time I watch a protest, it seems like we lose focus on what we're actually doing. It's something that I, I feel has been brewing for a while, so when I see it happen, it, it makes sense at the end of the day. At the end of the day, curfew. Do you think the curfew is going to work? Um, yeah, eventually. I think eventually it's going to work. But it's like Martin Luther King said, riot is the language of the unheard. And at this point, the curfew seems to be working, but you, see, you still see some vehicles trying to head into this craziness. But east of this thing, it seems to be beginning to work. I'm Christina Gonzalez, live on Beverly, just east of the craziness. Back to you guys. Full look there of the day. We're going to take a look now at some of the fires that are burning over uh, Los Angeles. We have the Melrose and Fairfax area with fire crews scrambling to get all of the fires out. They've been able to get to some of these fires with their fire trucks. They've been able to get there safely. Uh, no, no crowds getting in their way. Uh, this one here, I believe, is the Starbucks that is on Melrose. Um, in the Fairfax area. Yeah, let's, and let's uh, go to Kevin Takumi. He can okay. give us more uh, information on exactly what's happening now. Kevin. Uh, two fires here on Melrose that have, uh, one of them, this one that we've been watching most of the night, it's burned all the way through the building. Firefighters were only be able to make a defensive move on it because of the looting and the debris that was left inside. That is just about at uh, Melrose and Stanley. Now that building burned all the way through. This other building you see off to the west here, that fire started earlier this evening here at about 7 o'clock. L.A. City Fire had gotten most of it knocked down, but it started kindling again here, and the roof is starting to go at this point. They are getting their hose lines in place, but once again, they are unable to make access to the building because of all the debris from, uh, debris from all the looting. You can see L.A. County Sheriff's now starting to move in to try to move some of these people out of the area. The looting still continues down on Melrose. They are trying to get ahead of it one block at a time as they can. But you can see there still are a lot of people on the streets, a lot of cars, and a lot of people still going from business to business, 
Most of the most businesses that were boarded up were left alone. A lot of them that had glass windows were smashed through, but you can see they are moving block to block, trying to clear all the people out of here, trying to get them to go home. The curfew is in effect, but they are just at this point trying to get people to go home. They are arresting people that they catch looting, though. When they come up on a business and people are coming out of it, they are arresting those people in mass. That's the latest over here in Skybox. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, a lot of that looting has been taking place in the Fairfax area, something the city hasn't seen in years. We're going to go live now to Bob DeCastro, who's there on the ground for us. Bob? Yeah, good evening. We were actually on our way to some of those fires that we had heard had popped up uh, along Melrose. So we walked along Fairfax or very close to Fairfax High School and take a look at what we're looking at here. We're looking at people who have been arrested throughout the day's protest. They brought in the county sheriff's department bus here. This is likely going to take all of the people who have been arrested to the L.A. County Jail. A number of people uh, sitting on the curb just beyond the bus over here. What strikes me about what we're looking at and the number of people that are coming here, these are people from all walks of life, Los Angelinos from every age, every ethnicity, every socioeconomic background you can imagine. We've seen them being brought onto this bus. Again, they're not getting any tickets. These people are going to jail. This was a day also punctuated by, as you said, the destruction. You look over here, just to the over here, and you'll see that these are some shop owners. This was another store where the glass was broken, shattered. People went inside, so now they're trying to figure out a way to seal this up so that tomorrow, if people are going to go through here, that things would be safe here. I'm going to walk down the street just a little bit more and show you another store over here where, as the protests came through here, more glass that was broken, and this uh, this looks like it was a place that, that had also been looted. I'm going to walk down just a, a little bit further. Let me show you some video from earlier today. So we had gone all the way down Fairfax. We went down Melrose and through Beverly Hills. But again, a day that we saw so much destruction, graffiti, and then we saw all of the looting. Shocking to see some of our iconic areas, including the Grove, that was the scene of looting. People going inside, taking what they want, smashing the windows, and then running. The officers that we had seen were pretty much spread so thin uh, throughout the, the Fairfax area, trying their best to, to respond to fires, to protests, to, to, to projectiles being thrown at them. There almost was little that they can do when these people had gone into the, the, the grove and taken what they want. We are also hearing reports that the, that the Apple store uh, might have been damaged as well. Back here live, there's a, a number of people still here, still here on the curb. curb. These are also people that were arrested throughout the protest today. That bus that we showed you earlier is completely full, so they're going to have to bring in another L.A. County bus. But the night, uh, I can tell you, uh, Christine and Alex, is not over. We're still hearing about those fires that are popping up all across uh, the, the Fairfax area, near the Melrose area, those shots that Kevin Takumi was showing you earlier. So certainly officers still have their hands